I heard he was 14. Heard he wasn't from around here. Heard he had eyes like mine. Heard he was known for being mischievous. He was mentioned quite a bit in the paper. You ever seen this boy before? We ever see him around? Heard, heard he was, was visiting family. family. I, I wish I could put a face to that name. Those black boys do tend to get themselves into trouble. We do whatever we can to stay out of trouble. Well, his mama should have warned him. Getting, Getting lost after sundown is a death sentence. We won't rise again the next day. They say he was found weighted in water, body wrinkled and face swollen. The river doesn't look as blue. Boys like us are always thought of as pollution. More color in the currents. A body of water became little. They say he settled to the surface like erosion. Don't we always look best as fossils, like dead fish? What was it they did again? His look was probably arrogant, probably instilled itself between porcelain skin and a dress scene. Did he become a target for a wandering eye or wandering too far? Didn't his mama warn him about looking the wrong direction? About looking too confidently in our direction that he should learn to control his glance. That's the only thing his eyes should have flirted with was the ground he'd be buried in. Was, was his whistle too comfortable in his lethal wind? Didn't he know how many things sway in it that look just like him? That look just like us? Mississippi is an abusive mother to black children. Engaged to a Jim Crow kind of man. My hands don't hesitate to suffocate brown skin. Choked out the last of his small voice. Tied him up in the back of a pickup truck. Like he was cattle waiting to be slaughtered. Do you think they drove down our road? Do you think we're destined to go down this road? Well, reports say they gouged his eye out. Like a pitchfork clawing at a haystack. Cocked a shotgun to his head. While foaming at the mouth. As his brain tissue stained the evening scarlet. Beat his face till. His whistle became a faint tune of torture. Beat his face till. Even God couldn't recognize his child. They the beat his face till. Their knuckles numbed against the skull. His, his color smeared the southern soil. His rhythm mortars like vomit. Triggering a potent kind of gag reflex. Black boys need to get used to that kind of smell. It's, it's not, not as, as if we can get away from it. We're always living with it. We're always dealing with it. Melanin makes such a mess. Blood stains are too difficult to clean. They pushed the limit of our pigment, wrapped the cotton gene around his neck. They, they made, made him an anchor, anchor to remind us of the weight we carry. The, the black burden has always been so heavy. I hope he learned his lesson. I hope this won't be our fate. It'd be foolish to make the same mistake twice, so be a lasting silence, won't he? We know silence all too well, don't we? Don't we? Look how quiet white folks get when a black boy is hushed. The sins of white men know too many colored graves. Our mothers crying over hollow caskets. Emmett won't be the last name to settle on our tongues like sediment. Emmett won't be the last name to dissolve from our mouths. Colored skies will be death like God has a stutter. We won't let your death go unsung. Black boy swinging in the dead of night. You were 14. You had eyes like mine. A black boy no more than dirt from tombstones. More than residue. We know he won't be the last of us. Just one of many. A soldier of an army that knows no surrender. We will fight, Emmett, till we can rise again the next day.